Right guys, welcome back to Connor's Outdoor Activities. Today I'm out fishing with Mr. Waterside from Waterside for Adventures. Feel, uh, feel free to go and subscribe to his channel, it's a great channel. We're down fishing next to Collection Pier today on the right hand side. Got Mr. Waterside to the left of me. You can see I'm getting a couple of bites on my rods. I'm inside the bivvy. I'll spin you around, show you what's going on. Let me take you out. This is what we got. That's the pit, collecting pit. That's Mr. Waterside up there and his bivy. And then we got all around us here. That's, the, that's called the Martello Lounge, where I'm in front of here, inside my bivy, like I always do. And this is what's around us. A little bit of wind, but can't worry about that. And there's the rods. Mr. Waterside is down there. He's got his rods out. Let's get back in the bivy. Tell you lost what. Sorry about that. Right, that's where we are. So, I'm fishing left hand rod. All we could get today was frozen bait, so I'm using I'm using frozen blacks on the left one, on a one hook flat with a 3 -oh hook, and on the right hand one, I'm using black lug and mackerel on a 2 hook flat. The rods and reels are the same as in the last video when I fish lower stuff here, so if the rods are the Mitchell Surf rods, one's a Sonic SKS reel and the other is a Witchwood Riot, so we're fishing to the right of Clacton Pier. As it, it, that's quite windy on the other side, so we're fishing over. So we're fishing on the right hand side of it, and then we're um, we're fishing here. Mr. Waterside has just had a dogfish first cast, so well done, really good, well done. And now all I've got to do is do the same and catch some. So we'll see how we get on. Keep trying different baits and we'll go from there, I guess, really. High tide is about, uh, I think, half eleven. It's now half ten, so we've got an hour till high tide and we'll see what happens from there. So, let's see how we get on, guys. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Woohoo! See if we can get something. Right, guys, I, I just reeled in the left hand rod. That's the one with the one hook flapper and the 3 0 hook on. Nothing on that. The black lug bait had gone, so I, yeah, yeah, the black lug bait has gone, so I put a bit of mackerel on that. Put a mackerel bait on, and we'll see how that goes. I haven't reeled in the right hand rod in. I haven't reeled that one in yet. I'll perhaps um, give that a reel in a minute. There's quite a bit of wind out there, but it's not too bad. That's the reason we came on this side, because on the left hand side that would have been a nightmare, because it was so windy. So we're gonna fish it. It's now quarter to eleven, so it's so high tide in about another forty-five minutes. So we're gonna get up to high tide and see what go, see what happens from there, really. Just see if we can catch some fish. As I say, Mr. Waterside has had a doggy already, so well done. Pretty good. Now it's my turn to catch a fish. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah, right end rod has got the two book flatbar on. Five ounce weight, and that's got black lug and mackerel on at the moment. So, let's just see if we can catch some fish, guys. Right, guys, I just reeled in the right end rod for the first time of the session. Nothing on there. Not, uh, the, the bait hadn't been touched, so I. Uh, I thought, well, I'll take them off and refresh them, so we're just done that, and we're cast out, and we're out there again. So let's just see if we can, let's just see if we can get the blank out of the way. Mr. Waterside is still on his, uh, is still um, only had sort of one doggy, so at least he's caught. But let's just see how we get on. Hopefully, hopefully, I won't blank tonight. Let's just hope that there's going to be some fish turn up. It is now 11 o'clock, so about got about half an hour to high tide. So let's just see how it fishes. Let's see if we can get the blank out of the way. 
had a few bites, but when it's like this, you can't really tell whether that's wind or a bite. You don't, so you can't sort of tell. You see. So right, let's um. So right, let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah, I've got black lug on the one. Look, yeah, I've got black lug on the one look flat on the left hand rod and black lug and mackerel on the right hand rod and that's got the two hook flat bar on it so let's just see if we can catch some fish guys right guys just reeled in the right hand rod for the second time nothing on that bait was um a little bit of it was stripped but a little bit of it weren't so i've refreshed the bait i'm getting a few boats but i think that could be the waves hitting the line actually could well be the waves hitting the line because there is a few waves down there believe it or not but I'm out here enjoying myself in the bivvy so uh, and I'm sure Mr Waterside is enjoying himself so uh, it's just nice to be out here done quite a long drive to get here so let's hope we're going to be let's hope we're going to get a reward of a nice fish but if not it's just nice to come to this sort of place and just experience what it's like and just to know what it's like and that's all we can do really is just try and I'm getting a few bites you can see the wind is a bit you can see there's a bit of wind by how the straps on the bivy are blowing about <laughs> but yeah we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes that's all we can do really and it's just try and just try we, if don't catch anything well we just sort of put that down to experience sort of thing but let's just hope we do catch let's hope that'll be something to turn up and bite our hooks and that'll be happy days but if not we'll come out and give it a go can't ask no more yeah left hand rod is a one up flapper a homemade one what I make myself Occasionally I'll buy some if I'm feeling a bit lazy, but a lot, uh, most of the time we buy them. I find if you buy them and you catch a nice fish on them, you feel better because you've, you've actually made the rig and you've sort of made that rig what the fish has been on. So, uh, yeah, it's just how I look at it. But let's just hope there is going to be a nice fish turn up. Time is now ten, uh, quarter past 11, so we're getting pretty much up to the top of the tide now. I'm getting a few bites, but I think that could be the wind was was pulling on the rod tips. But at least we're out here giving it a go. That's all anyone can ask, isn't it? Is that we're out here giving it a go, having fun. It's nice to be out. There have been reports lately of rays coming out here and nice coddling and bits like that and I have heard of nice flatties and stuff. Yeah, rays, flatties, coddling. Could even get a white and you just don't know. And Mr. Waterside had that dogfish, so there is fish out there. We just gotta hopefully find them and catch them. So let's just see how it goes really. Obviously if I catch a fish I'll show it to the camera. But whether it's a little tiny whiten or a no size doggy or a ray or a codlin. So let's just um let's just hope that we catch something soon. Right guys. Mr. Waterside just had a good bite on, I think it might have been his red tip rod because he uh, he cast out about 20 yards and um, had a really good bite. Thought he had a bass on, I think, but he managed to miss it, which is a bit of a shame, but at least we know that there's something down there biting, so hopefully we'll, we'll hook up to one of them. Hopefully we'll uh, end up hooking up to one and catching one. So at least we know there is fish down there. At least we know there's dogfish in the area and hopefully some bass. That's just a matter of finding them.
I'm getting bites, but I do think that is the wind. You see a bite there, but that is, um, pretty sure that's the waves taking it. Yeah, I think that's the waves what's moving it, but never mind, we can only try, can't we? That's all we can do. If we didn't try these places, we wouldn't know, so that's what it's all about, and it's sort of trial and error sort of thing. So, um, let's just... Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that we um, catch something fairly soon. That'd be good. But let's just see. Yeah, we've got all sorts of baits today: frozen black, squid, mackerel, prawns, bluey, all sorts of different bits. We've got peeler crab and sand eel and any frozen bait. You name it, we've probably got it in the bag. Apart, only thing we ain't got is fresh bait, like fresh lug or rag or blacks or yellows, nothing like that. Because we couldn't get any, but as long as we've got a bit of bait in the water, that's all what matters, really. Right, guys, I'm back again. No 20 to 12, still nothing as of yet. We're still giving it a good old go. I've got the left hand one, I give that a big old whack, got that at distance this time. The right hand one seems a bit loose, I'll slacken it up and I'll, I mean, I'll tighten it up in a minute. It's gone a bit slack. And that's getting, that's getting a few bites, but I still think that's the waves because that's the. because uh, the rods are fairly high, it's just that I, um, I haven't cast that one very far and that's the line is laying quite low, so I'll like, chuck that close in. Because um, Mr. Waterside ha uh, had that bite close in, so I thought, well, I might as well see if I can get one close in as well. Well, he didn't actually bring it on the beach, but he had a good bite, so at least that's something. So I thought, well, I'll try mine close in. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to probably going to keep one sort of at distance, and then one, and then one close in, and then we'll go from there. Really, as I say, it's now 20 to midnight, so. We aren't doing too bad. Considering we ain't been here before, we we aren't doing too bad. At least we're giving it a go. That's all you can ask, really. Isn't it? A fish would be nice, but it's just all about experiencing fishing here. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, left hand. Left hand rod has got black lug on still. I keep putting black lug on there just in case there's a elusive codlin sitting out there. And on the right hand one, I've got sort of mackerel and so I'm trying all sorts mackerel, squid, um, black lug, all sorts, really. Just to see if I can hook into anything, really. Just to see if we can just save the blank, sort of thing. That's a pier next to me. They do let you fish on there but that's only for daytime fishing I think until 10 p.m. so we we went on the beach which is fair enough and all we've got to do now is just catch that's all we've got to do now just got to save that blank but really enjoying myself and I'm sure Mr. Waterside is enjoying himself as well Feel free to go and subscribe to his channel, Waterside for Adventures. So, let's just see what we can do. Right guys, yeah and by the way, the, um, the weather conditions today, we've got sort of moderate to fresh sort of northeasterly wind at the moment. As you can probably hear, the old bivy is blowing about a bit. We have got a fair bit of wind, but never mind, that's just how it goes sometimes. You can't have everything in your own favour, you just have to sort of cope with the conditions you're in, sort of thing. But, yeah, that's just how it is, really. They did forecast light winds, but they certainly got that wrong, because it's definitely not light. If you get out there in the wind, that's terrible. We chose this spot because that's out of the wind here, you see, to the left, 
because where the sort of northeast is, you've got the pier, so we're sort of sheltered. If we'd have went on the other side of the pier, that would have been really, really bad. It says a lot, you know, in sea fishing, east, northeast, southeast, anything with an east wind, and it is a bit difficult to really fish in, but that's cold and the fish don't normally bite when that's in that sort of direction, but that's just how it goes sometimes. As I say, you can't sort of have, you can't sort of have everything your own way. You just have to pick a day when you think what, what you think is right, and if it turns out a bit windy, well, you just have to sort of put up with that sort of thing, don't you? Right, guys, just reeled in right end rod, two hook flapper. You got this bad boy on, little codlin. There you go, look. The little codlin. Didn't even feel it on there. There he is. Just thought I'd just reel it in and there he was. Got that on black lug, had mackerel on the other hook. Hadn't seen any more, didn't see the bite either. Just went to reel in and there he was. So there's Mr. Codlin. There you go. There you go, it's a bit wriggly. There you go. Mr. Codlin. Right, we'll get him back. Well guys, what about that? Got a codlin. So it's um so Mr. Waterside has had one dogfish so far and I've had a codlin, so that's alright, isn't it? Only a little one, but they all count. Really pleased with that. Just coming here and just catching that is really good really. Because as a lot of you know from where I'm from on the east coast, well we are on the east coast now, but from where I'm from, East Anglia, Great Yarmouth area. They're quite rare to catch to be honest. You get the occasional one but not very often and to come here and catch a cod then is really good. I'm chuffed with that. Really good. So that's out there again with black lug and mackerel on. And the left hand rod has got black lug on as well. I've just got one mackerel bait out there just in case a ray's going to come along and take it. But really pleased with that. Let's hope that the fishing's going to improve from here. Pretty good. Really pleased with that. At least we didn't blank and we've got a codlin, so it's a bonus. Really pleased with that. That's amazing. No, let's just see if we can um, see if we can catch some more fish. Hopefully they're coming on the feed now. Let's just see. Right, guys. Mr. Waterside just brought hit brought in one of his rods and he had a white on. That was all right. Pretty good. So he's he's had he's had a dogfish and a white and I've had a codlin. So at least we know there's three species in the area. That's what it's all about. Glad that we're both sort of caught and we. Ain't we ain't blank because it's not very nice when you, when you do blank but I'm afraid that do that sometimes that is just, how you, that is just one of them things that I put up with I'm afraid in fishing but, uh, but you know, I might have too many of them but it's, it's just how it goes sometimes sorry I'm just trying to screw the lid of the divvy in when the poles has come out doing that but yeah we're not doing too bad there's been three fish out so far, and in, yeah, Mr. Waterside has got three rods and I've got two, and there's been three fish out, so it's, it's very slow, but at least we caught a fish, at least we didn't blank, that's the main thing. Three fish out, and three different species, so that's good, dogfish, whiten, and uh, codlin for me, so that's alright. I got the codlin on black lug, and I think... Mr. Waterside got his on black lug and I think he got his white and on squid so yeah it's not going too bad you can see the right hand one is doing a bit of pulling and I don't know if that's a fish or whether that's just the waves I reckon that's just the waves I was catching on the line because that one is the close in one and that's the one I caught the codlin on so it just tells you that the codlin do come close in I got that out there for a bass really but a codlin will do me <laughs> I ain't going to complain about that But as I say, the wind is northeasterly, it's a little bit chilly, but we're coping. 
sorry, but just trying to keep my bivvy down. <laughs> it's blowing about a little bit, but it's not too bad. That's no issue, if that do go over, I can always get it up again. It's probably because I ain't probably put enough weight on the back, because that's they're, they're sort of all sandy here, you can't put anything... To, it doesn't really hold it down apart from sand. I've found a few stones, but apart from that, there ain't a the lot. There ain't many stones, there's a few, there's a few sort of where my rods are and that sort of bit, but there ain't many. But it's not doing too bad, they're blowing about a little bit, so I just hope that stay down. Yeah, it's blowing a little bit. <laughs> just have to try and keep it down. <laughs> right, let's see if we can hopefully catch some more fish. Right guys, it's now... Now getting on for past 12, just reeled in the right hand rod, nothing on there, nothing wrong with the bait either, so I just pass it straight back out there again, nothing wrong with it. We're getting a few bites on there, but that's the, where the waves are getting it, but can't really help that, unless I have the rods hard, but it not be no good. This bivvy is being a bit of a nuisance, but never mind, it's just the wind was blowing it, that's all. Because it is fairly windy but that's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, so one cardlin, it's all right. I'm really chuffed with that, that's all right. It's just nice to just catch one, that's just, just nice. Yeah, our rod tips are bouncing a bit, but they will do in the wind. There's just loads of wind out there. Hopefully you can't feel any, but as soon as you step out of the bivvy, it really, there is quite a bit there, but apart from that, everything is going, going well. We have both caught fish, so that's the main thing, that's what we came here to do. We came here to catch, just to just, we, ca we came here to catch some fish and we've, uh, we, we've both caught a fish, so that's the main thing. Right guys, we're still fishing. It's now 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. There's a bit of wind, because the old bivvy keeps blowing over. Can't keep it up, that's that windy, so I'm just sat out here in the elements now, but just being a nuisance, the bivvy is, can't seem to keep it up. They just seem to be blowing over every time. Every time I try to put it up, that blow over, so I'm just gonna try and fish without that now. I'm getting a few bites on that rod, but it's a bit slow at the moment, but let's just hope that pick up a bit. Just gotta see what happened really, ain't we? Right guys, it's now nearly half one, we're still out here. Still nothing since I last boat here. It's gone quiet now. Well, it's been a bit quiet anyway, but <laughs> but we're still out here giving it our best shot. Trying all different baits. The uh, black lug, squid, mackerel, even peeler crab and that sort of thing, but we just aren't Hooking it, we just aren't hooking up to nothing at the moment. But all we can do is just try, really, isn't it? Just got to try and just see what happens. The old wind has got up now, which is a bit of a shame because they did forecast sort of two to five mile an hour east of these, but it seems like we've got about 20 mile an hour. But all we can do is try, isn't We're trying all various distances, stuff like that. We just can't seem to uh, get a fish at the moment, but at least we ain't blank. I've had a codlin, and Mr. Waterside has had a doggy and a white and so we can't complain. We've caught fish, so that's the main thing, but it's just how it goes sometimes. I, I keep saying little bites, but I think that's the waves actually. Was I think that's the waves was moving the rod tips, and I think the wind is also moving them as well. Yeah, I think the wind and the waves are moving the rod tips a bit, but never mind. At least we're having fun. That's the main thing. Right, guys, it's now 2 a.m. Still nothing happening as of yet. We're giving it a good go though. We've got all different baits, peeler crab, black, uh, frozen black lug, 
all frozen bait, squid, mackerel, bluey, heron, prawn, sand eel, you name it, we got it, but we just can't seem to hook up to, hook up to any fish at the moment, just nothing happening, we're not getting bites, nothing. Oh, wind has picked up a bit, but just how it goes sometimes, got a beastly wind blowing into our face, but not a lot we can really do about that at the moment. We're just hoping that the fish will pick up and we start to catch a few fish. Because in, uh, in a place like this, you can just be sitting there getting nothing and all of a sudden you get a big five pound ray turn up. So you just got to wait it out really, and you... that's all we've got to do really. That's all we can do is just sit here and just wait it out really. See if we can find some fish. we just got to wait patiently and see if anything turn up. Right guys, we're still fishing. It's now 20 to 3 in the morning and still no fish since that codlin I had. Mr. Waterstar hasn't had nothing either. So just been very slow in this session at the moment unless something drastically changed. Been pretty slow but we're giving it our best shot. Trying all different baits. We've got all the frozen baits as I've said. Just nothing happening at the moment. We're trying our very best. Can't seem to hook up to nothing at the moment. As you can probably see, the tide is right down there. The tide is definitely going down there. I'm casting out and I'm walking back, and that's nearly empty in my rear. That's that far down. <laughs> but we're giving it our best shot, which is all we can do, really. Isn't it? We're sitting here trying. Mr. Waterside is. Using all different baits as well. He's got three rods out. I've got two out, and only three fish to show for it. So pretty. Uh, it's not good, but never mind. We we come here and give it a go, which is all you can really do. I mean, when you come to these sort of places, you just got to sort of expect that, I guess. You've got to come and fish here and just find out what it's like, can't you? Like, yeah, as I say, it's 20 to 3. The old tide is certainly going down a bit now. But we're still fishing away. Still trying to find a nice ray, something like that. But we'll just keep trying, guys. We'll just see how it goes. See if anything will turn up. I've got the right hand one with two black lug baits and the left hand one with just a single black lug bait with like a bit of squid to tip it off with just to see if that do anything but apart from that not a lot happening the baits are coming in just as good as they went out really I'm, I'm sort of replenishing them every time I'm chucking them back out there but nothing's really happening to be honest being pretty slow at the moment but hey ho that's how fishing goes sometimes sometimes you catch sometimes you don't right here we are guys this is the front of, of um, Plankton Pit just thought I'd show you what it looks like tells you here what the here does and what goes on all like the fish and chip shops that that's there like a big wheel there look at that pretty cool all the ice cream places and that's up here there and up here we've got beach information let's go and have a look that's up into the town up there West Beach, look, this is all the info. Here we are. There you go. That's the information about the beach, etc. And there we are. We're fishing just down there. You can probably see my light. This is King's Promenade. That's the ice cream and chips place, that's the pavilion bowl. We just 
take you over without without um, walking in the road is the, causing an obstruction. But here we are, the ice cream and chips place. There's the pavilion bowl. But Beach down that way, you probably can't see it. There you go, down there is the next part of the beach. And here's the big wheel. Here it is. This is Clacton Pier. This is the front of it, and we're fishing to the right of it, which is down there. And here you go, guys. Here's Clacton Pier from the left hand side. Number one North Sea. Here's the water. Not, it's not too bad on this side now. The wind was quite bad this side when we first got here, but it's not too bad now. There you go. This is what it looks like. guys it's now 20 to 4 we're on the last cast now I ain't been back for a little while because nothing has really happened really Mr Waterside just pulled in a crab so obviously there's crabs out there nibbling on our baits but we ain't had nothing since last since I last spoke to it nothing at all so at the moment it's um a white and a dogfish a codling for me and a crab, so it's been very slow, but we came down here to give it a go, and, and we fished it, and it weren't great, but it was nice to come here and give it a go. Let's just see if we can see if we can get a fish on the last cast, guys. That'd be that'd be awesome, man. But I doubt if we will, because that tide is right down there now. I reckon that's well shallow now. That tide is well down. When I cast out on the right hand rod, that nearly emptied the reel, that's that far down, so it's definitely down. I packed the bivy away, put that in its bag, and just got to pack a few other bits away and we'll be ready to leave. But we'll just see if we get anything on this cast, and let's just hope we get some on the last cast. If not, it's been great to come. And have a trip out. Right guys, we're now, we're now uh, on the last cast. Gonna reel in the rod in a couple of minutes and we're gonna call it a day. It's been very slow. One comment for me. Doggy from Mr. Waterside. He's got a crab on there. He caught a crab as well, but that was. But they aren't exciting to catch. <laughs> but it's been a great trip. Really enjoyed it. I'll get them rods reeled in, and I'll let you know the result of that, and then. That'll be the end of this session, but hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. We tried our best to bring some fish to the camera, but didn't seem there's many about tonight. But there's always another night. Right, I'll get them rod reeled in and I'll let you know what happens. Right guys, we're all packed away. It's now 20 past four, well quarter past. Quarter past four in the morning, Mr. Waterside over there loading up the cat. And that's it for this video, guys. So I want to thank you all very much for coming in to support the channel. Really appreciate it. 
please hit the thumbs up and like, comment, subscribe, share, and that sort of thing, please. That would be really appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. We got to, got to take the trolley up to the car and we got to go home. So we tried our best. It weren't it weren't the best session, but we tried. I'll, and I'll speak to you on the next session. Bye bye for now.